for this is she's inherited a very large plot of land from uh, one of her old relatives who passed away. As you can see it's a massive 64 by 64 lot and she, while having aspiring dreams to become a singer, decides that she's going to come out to this large plot of land and turn it into a grand old farm just like it used to be. It also comes with its own private beach. Like how great is that? You can come down here, you can fish down here if you Actually, you can't fish down here because there's no sign. But she's just acquired the fitness skill. That's pretty fun. But she's got a large plot of land to, to work with. I was doing like a kind of farm in like another save I had. But then I realised it was way too small of a plot to work. So the first thing I'm going to have her do is join a career. Now, if I'm right, the uh, gardening career that came with Seasons is also an active stay-at-home one. So she's not going to be going into work every day. Essentially, she's going to be able to stay at home and work on the gardening and stuff. That is not it. <laughs> that is a... Uh, I think that's a modded one. That's it, the gardening. You've always had a green thumb, but now you can earn some green with it. You'll start by doing lots of planting and gardening, but keep it up and you can find success in the science or art in doing so. She, she could become either a botanist or a floral designer. And I'm not sure what she should be. And yeah, so currently she's got work to do this. She's got to get level 2 gardening skill and harvest some harvestables. So, first thing I'm going to do is actually purchase some garden seeds would be the main thing. She has £8,000. And we could have her basically set off and maybe grab something to like set up. But I might have her get rid of that eight grand in a little bit to sort of serve as maybe just like a large like piece of rent essentially. I'm actually gonna have a jump in Del Sol Valley first because there are lemon trees and also it is spring as well which is why it looks so miserable Brindleton Bay currently is because it's it's lovely spring it's a brand new year it's a new day and it's depressing as all hell because it's raining it's actually not looking too bad though in Del Sol. It's a little, it's a lot better. I'd say actually that is a house. So we want to go around this way. Yes, because the lemon trees have not spawned in. <laughs> lemon trees have not spawned in. That's a little bit unfortunate. She also can't really buy food because she's going to be, uh, mostly because she's a, uh, this is a rags to riches challenge and I can't find the official rules. I keep finding the extreme rules but I could be wrong. That might actually be the actual one but I'm not too sure. She can also dig things. Actually we're just gonna we'll quickly set this off and do money zero. Is that not working? Hold on. There we go. Money zero. So her eight grand has gone. That was to get her basically to uh, Brindleton Bay. It's a well chrysanthemum flower, but that's not in season yet. Where are those lemon trees? There were lemon trees. I can't see what they got. She found a limestone. That's what I love about this game. I love all the collecting stuff. Mostly about it. She's also found that she's creatively talented. That's actually very useful. I think mentally it would be useful for gardening, I think. Yeah. She found a time capsule as well. Not too bad of a find so far. There's lots of these little dig spots. Dig spots. And the lemon trees have not grown in because they haven't grown in yet. So she does need to get... Basically, she needs to get some money to buy some seeds. And then she'll be able to go and start planting her farm. I kind of have to go through a very 
specific way because you've got so many pieces there's like 32 things cause you've got to go to the jungle to grab basically I want to have a farm that's got everything including that weird little bizarre fruit from Strangerfield there it is and there's like a few extra things vampires she can go actually she can hop over to Forgotten Hollow while she's here this is going to be the first episode it's going to be of like gathering certain little things grabbing some you know harvestables I think actually it might take a while for everything to grow in essentially so we might have to wait a few days but we are going to go and hop over to Forgotten Hollow in a second once she's finished grabbing all the available harvestables that she can find she's rummaged through the bins but she hasn't found anything she's also a very outdoorsy loving person she's active a foodie a collector loves the outdoors because she wants to become a freelance botanist and creatively talented that also annoys me this little green bar she is a brand new sim that I made and she has only just moved in and now she has a bunch of like days gone luckily I have aging disabled because it's gonna annoy me this but it's also not a bug it's a feature according to the devs and devs I have to say I do not like this feature I do not like this feature that all sims have to be like a randomly it's like it's fine on the long the long lives which I do for my sims they all have to live like a million years essentially before they can actually no don't want to go into Brindleton Bay I wanted to go to Forgotten Hollow I will probably jump into uh, maybe Strangeville to grab a fruit just a random fruit because I know you can get some from the so that's probably what I might do because I wanted to start getting all the harvestables this is like it's not just like a rags to riches challenge as well it's also a challenge to go and basically get every harvestable in the game and once again none of the harvestables here have started showing up yet because I'm gonna need to get basically everything basically it. everything I might have to just go over here and do some fishing because that is currently the only thing she can do also start giving her fishing skill I did add a couple sims in I might add some more like special towny sims in for her to meet along the way because there's like quite a few that I've like, I've got loads of sims on my gallery that I've made or I found that I like and I want them to all be sort of added in all doing their own thing around the world so this is a really nicely made house like like ignoring the fact that it's a, it's in Forgotten Hollow this place is like super nice if I could get a look at it okay I can see a chair but it looks really nicely made quite the fishing skill this will also help because she's gonna need to have something for dinner uh, soon and there's the sixer mosquito trap. Yeah, everything needs to grow in a bit before I can officially start planning things. Clubs the outdoors. Six days until the menstrual cycle starts. That slice of life for you. She also she has a lot of blues to her. I gave her a very distinct sort of colour scheme, which is all very blue and slightly green, but not slightly green. She is very cute. I made her last night and I like the way she turned turned out. I think she was actually designed on another sim I brought into the gap. I just brought in to have a look. And she turned out super cute. And I was like, oh, she's adorable. I think the one thing I like most is the, uh, oh, there's people. It's Joffrey, I thought it was Bjorn for a second. It's Katrina. They're just wandering around Forgotten Hollow. Just, sure. Sure, it's also very sunny and forgotten. Hold. Did they just go into the trees and vanish? Yes, they did. They're going to go into the trees and do some weird conspiracy stuff. A batfish. I don't want to eat that. That sounds awesome. That is a rare fish as well. Ooh. Uh, quickly, yeah. That is so cool, but apparently it's not a... Is it a... No, I'm just going to mount that fish. Yeah, any time we fish, type of fish we find, we just mount it. It'd be so much easier than having to. Where are my fish gone? Hmm. The batfish doesn't sleep upside down, but it has nice leathery wings to make up for it. Oh, is that the one that comes in um, 
Oh, in Oasis Springs, there's a special place that you need 10 handiness skill to activate. If that's it, that's actually pretty decent. And I need food. <laughs> she is starting to get a little bit hungry. I mean, there's plenty of, like, resources, like, gyms and stuff we can, like, take advantage of. And, like, public bathrooms. So that's going to help for a while. She's going to be homeless, essentially, for a little while. But not too long. Not too long. Is that Lily? Yes, that is. Ooh, what's that? That is a wild wolfsbane flower that has not grown. So actually what we're going to do is going to just open up these two uh, things. If they are the same, I will delete one and then I can use that to buy some seeds very quickly. So I'm going to finish, finish fishing up for now and then we're going to go to... Okay, two new My Sims trophies. So let's go to the park. So if, <laughs> that's the first thing we're doing. It's just like we're just like world hopping currently. Mostly to take advantage of free things. So let's go to Willow Creek and go to the park. I will add the ponds from the parks from debug mode into the lot at some point. Maybe down the line, like a few days in, like maybe I give her get her like a thousand smellies and she loses it because she got the pond put in that kind of thing maybe or she discovers it I'm not too fast really but she's gonna need something before she gets hungry and hopefully people will make a bunch of food at because that's that's what they do and this is a rags to riches challenge and I'm following it to the best of my ability in that you don't cook yourself for a while it's also very cold out here I was like, oh it's oh it's him this guy is actually one of my new sims I put in. His name is Travis Templeton. I found him on the gallery. He is a very nice, um, well I say he's very nice, he's um, like a young musician kind of thing. His story is he wants to be a country music star. Because looking at him, he does look exactly like a country music star. Huh. And he's just like, why has this girl just interrupted my chess game? <laughs> dag, dag. Just, hi there, miserable day, isn't it? And he's like, exactly, yes. So, meet this nice guy. He seems quite nice. He seems very cheerful off the bat. And they are... But are they both talking about how much they like, um... How much they like the outdoors? I would be surprised if they were. I think he is, likes the outdoors. I can't remember. We'll get to know him just for a little bit. Travis is a country singer. Yes. He is a country singer. I think he's also insane. I think he's got the erratic trait as well. And I see that's Paolo, and that's Don. Now Don's going to be an interesting one because Travis is paranoid. He's a paranoid android. She's just like saying hello to everyone now. Now the thing with uh, Don we have to be careful with because he is that serial romantic. You know the one. You know everybody knows about old Donny Boy here. Oh yeah, you're you're an infamous dude, Donny Boy. Yeah, so. When you have MCC, uh, Sims go off and do their own thing. They have their own families, they meet people, all that kind of thing. This guy seems to end up sleeping with every female Sim that's single and ends up with like four kids in the span of a week. All from like different mothers as well. So it's like, oh, it's one of those things where it's like, MCC is great, but sometimes it causes some really weird things to happen. I said, oh, it's Brittany show, that's why she's here. You have no money to be grilling, so I'm not sure why you would be grilling, because you don't have any money. I would suggest maybe she rummages around, but as you can see, she can, well, she can't brew anyway. She can't do anything. Uh, don't go fishing, but definitely look for frogs. So finish, finish your conversations, and maybe just see about. No, I forgot there. We got Pierce and. Elsa and I think that's the uh oh that's um what's her face? Olivia. And there's little Max Villarreal. Ah, uh, he's the best sim. He's the best sim. He's grown up in a few of my saves and I know I always get rid of his evil trait. Because he just looks so precious. And then he grows up and then he's pure evil. And it's like, oh okay. So currently she was supposed to be looking for frogs, but apparently not. <laughs> Did she grab a frog? She grabbed a spotted dirt frog. Nice. Okay, now you can actually do some fishing. It is raining, and hopefully somebody will do some barbecuing. Hopefully. It is 
raining and maybe we might have to influence someone to do some barbecuing. What is this? That is a... Ooh. View snap track and flower. I think he's bugged out a bit. Oh dear. Oh dear. What else can we do around here? There should be... There's loads of like little things as well. Like always go digging for rocks and go hanging out with your friends. Then you got these. These are actually pretty fun when these get added in. I like them. I like them. That's a strawberry bush. That's a strawberry bush. That is a apple tree. Actually, is that a strawberry bush? No, that's a snapdragon. It's definitely when everything's like sprung up. Might have to go and do that. Maybe wait for her to get to level two of her fishing skill. Ooh, frogs. Yes. Get all the frogs. Breed all the frogs. Dig all the dirt up. Grab all these fun little rocks and then just see what we can do I say sell dupes maybe I like the I like having everything in the, like the collections now that I know how cool the collections actually are because they actually allow you to do things with shelves I can't bring myself to just start selling everything like oh just this 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 and this I can just get rid of it's like no I need to collect everything it's the completionist in me Oh, uh, you complete one thing and then it's like, okay, now I have to complete everything. And it took me a long time to complete that frog collection on one save I did. So that is a bin. I can actually rummage through that. Okay, finish up. That The fish are too crafty. Lacey, it's also very dark. I'd say maybe rummage in that because she's hungry. She's going to need to go to the loo at some point. And it's just pretty miserable. And has anyone done any cooking? No, they haven't because they're all too smart to know that it's absolutely miserable. And you don't want to do that uh, today. I oh, know someone's in there. No. Who's that? It's Supriya. No. That's uh, Pierce's mother, I believe. Oh, there's... A hey, look at that, guys. I found the invisible man. <laughs> oh, it's uh, Nancy. And it's Bjorn. What's up, Bjorn? Bjorn, the uh, the coolest little Swedish meatball in the town. I mean, I think it's kind of cool that I say that Windmere ended up adding some of the best pre-made townies into this game. Because I like the pre-made townies, like in general, like the Goths and the Landgraves are quite iconic now, but having people like the Bjorksons, the Villariels, even Candy and Yuki. I think that's quite cool. I think they're like the, the best, um, in my opinion, the best pre-made townies that were added. Feel the strawberry bush. The strawberry bush has grown. But the snapdragons won't. And there was an apple tree slowly growing. She found a- you found a diamond? Oh, I feel like I'd have to sell that because that's a lot of money. <laughs> that's a lot of money. She's found a quartz as well. That's pretty common. Some upgradable parts. Ooh. Sell the upgradable parts. That's 20, 20 simoleons. We can actually use those to... um. If we ever find upgradable parts, we can just sell those and grab like seeds and stuff. She has to, by the time her next day comes, or her next work day comes, I right, get to level 2 gardening and purchase a bunch of garden seeds. And I feel like she needs to, she might have to start off with vegetables. Striped eggplant frog. Decent, decent. I just get a second bloody frog. Yes, I did. I got a second bloody spotted dirt frog. We'll sell the dupe because then that gives us, yep, that gives us the ability to get some more money. And are you too uncomfortable to start doing anything? else head up there and then I think there's like a couple more <gasps> harvest the snapdragons harvest the snapdragons you're gonna need to do that oh thank god for the snapdragons being able to be harvested for some reason can't harvest those but you know it's all good and there was another frog to catch and a rock formation over here. When is she going to pee herself? Okay, she's going to need to really need to go to the bathroom in a few hours, in a couple hours. So, 
Uh, yeah, it's over here, so. Uh, always have to remember, are these unis? Yes, I think they are. I can never remember. And then I think she can do some rummaging. Because most people have gone, have left now. So I think it's all good. It's all good. Where is she currently? She is going all the way over to this frog patch. You can go fishing on here if she wants to. I mean, this is pretty quite like this area. And I really need to utilize the lots more often. I think a good thing about this challenge is because you start off with basically nothing. You kind of have to really focus in on getting a lot of, um, or you get to foc utilize the community lots a lot more. So like she can go to the gym to take showers, she can, uh, I'd say buy food, but she can't buy food. She's going to get very ravenous, though, if she doesn't get something to eat very soon. Dug up another time capsule. Open that one up. If it's a dupe, we can sell it. But nobody's been ordering food, which is kind of annoying, because we need the food. More frogs. Basically, it's just buy all the frogs, or find all the frogs. Because you can, you can, like, breed them and get new breeds, and that does take a while. They are quite hard to do. She's got one snapdragon. One snapdragon. Gage Flint. Are you a pre-made townie? No, you don't look like it. You look like you're a randomly generated one. Yeah, I think because you're wearing CC clothing that you are randomly generated. Okay. Do that. Quickly wash your hands. Grab the rest of these things. And then we shall head on home. And it should be okay. After that, we got one snapdragon. one snapdragon. You can't eat the snapdragon unfortunately. But she can plant it when she gets back. And that should be the end of it. She found another Mycimus trophy. She found another one. Gonk. Already her collectibles are coming in. Collections found 5 out of 27. Decent. I kind of wish she'd be able to do all of these. 3 out of 25 frogs, spotted dirt, striped leaf, striped eggplant. She's going to need to find more though. Grab this last frog and then go on home. Bit of a weird one. Okay. She does need to purchase some seeds. May have to go to a computer in the library to do that, but... I'm just going to see if I can buy some seed packets. No, she can't, so she is going to need to go to find a computer to do that, which is fine, because she might be able to rummage about for food as well. So off to uh, the library we go. And here we are at the library. Thankfully, the library is open 24-7. She could take a nap there, I think, if she wants to. But for now, she's going to go and order some seeds. Okay, it's 25 or 35. 25 for a pack of catnip. 35 for starters. So we're going to start off with... Ooh, fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. Let's start off with some fruit. Let's purchase those. And let's open up the seed packet. See what we got. Forget about the book. We got three apple trees and six plantains. First thing we're going to do is eat one of the plantains. Just one for now. Just one for now. So just eat that. You'll feel so much better. Oh, where did I get the rest of that money from? Oh, was it when I sold a dupe or something? Did I sell something? No, I don't think I did. Where did I get that money f Where did I get 175 simoleons from? Last I checked, I had 50. Oh, in that case, grab some more. Order some more seeds, then. 
Well, small seeds. We bought some fruits. Let's buy a pack of vegetables to start with, as well as some herbs, some flowers, and a catnip herb packet. So, and more fruit. Now we're down to ten. I know where that money came from, but thank the Lord. It was there. Okay, we got quite a bit just then. So we got herbs, we got some grapes, all our catnip, bluebells, three carrots, three spinaches, three bell peppers, nine apples now, five plantains. So let's leave it down to have about five per thing. I would say that's probably for the best. So, eat an apple. These aren't going to be ready until the fall, so you'll be able to find a good place to put them down. For now, for now, you can just eat some. Eat eat a couple apples, so you just feel a little bit better. And then we'll probably have you uh, start planting when you get back. Currently you found a bunch of things. Yes, yeah, so we got the blue because the bell peppers came with seasons. We got a whole bunch of regular things. We got that's where the snapdragon is. They got more of these. You need to find mushrooms. I think that's potato. There's a whole lot of fruits and stuff we haven't found yet that we need to. So that's gonna be fun. I would say also for now. Also do search for information on vampires. I I just if I get that one out of the way, just the whim stops coming up. That's like that's kind of the main reason you do it. And buy a bee box. That is also one other thing she's got to do. She's got a level up in the gardening skill from her aspiration. Mm. She also needs to plant something in water, weed or water plants ten times. That shouldn't be too hard to do. But she's also incredibly tired. She really needs to talk to someone and she's starting to smell badly. Luckily she's got two people she can attempt to talk on the phone with now. And maybe we have her go to the gym. She could probably take a nap at the gym as well. I don't think there's any sofas up here. No, there isn't really. So it might have to head to the gym and then she can sort of stay there for a little bit, nap, have a shower, do all that kind of stuff. Here. Okay, so while I was waiting for loading screen, I get sometimes get notifications for tweets from uh, wrestlers. I follow uh, some of the current champions and one of the current champions is Seth Rollins and because of the whole money in the bank fiasco, uh, apparently uh, Brock Lesnar and now used his uh, uh, talking puppet head man, uh, Paul Heyman, who speaks for him, and basically said, I think he was cashing it in on Brock, on Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship, which he lost at Wrestlemania because people are sick of him holding that stupid belt. Either way, people are going to be annoyed and he couldn't even cash it in on the actual show, they had to do it via Twitter apparently. So that was an interesting thing, and at some point there needs to be a bench or something that she can sleep on. This will have to do. Because it's the closest thing she's got to a bed currently. So, oh, is that a uh, Marcus? Oh, no, it's Brant. It's Brant Hecking. Interesting name. Brant and his husband, Brent. Not knocking them. I just think it's kind of a funny name combo. And uh, yeah, the gym here in Windenburg's not actually that bad. It looks pretty decent. Who's that? Is that? That's Eliza Pancakes. She's got a very interesting walk. So hopefully she'll be able to take a slight bit of a nap before she passes out. Why are you wearing a park ranger hat? That is not what you're supposed to wear when you put on uh, when you put on a towel. I don't know what go what's going on with the towels recently. They've all started like like extra clothes and stuff get added onto the towel for some reason. I think that might be a bug with uh, that. So I'm going to have her just take a quick nap. We're back at the empty farm. This place is called Pine Tree Farm. 
as well, by the way. Uh, we've got a house here. I think someone lives here. I don't know who. Uh, but I'm just going to do a sneaky, sneaky sneakerson. And just dip in. And this person has a treadmill and a yoga mat. So they are someone who apparently works out and likes to do yoga. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to pop down the apple trees currently. I'm going to put down five. Because five will be enough. And then I'll just keep one apple for now that she can eat. And then I'm just going to pop them in a decent little line somewhere. Because of the way this is going to be laid out, this is a huge lot. So I'm going to put, I'm gonna have to put the apple trees, or basically the fruit orchard, a little bit at, further to the back. Just so that there's somewhere for them to be and we don't have enough, um, or rather we don't get like uh, any of the harvestables sort of getting in the way of where the house is going to end up being built. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to pop one over here. I think here two in should be enough and then it's going to be like a one square between like the next set of like trees just so they're not all clumped together but also that they're not um too spaced out this is actually good anyway because you can't put a fence around here but you can put a fence here so it'll be decent enough that will have some kind of space well of course when everything starts growing it'll be a bit easier to figure it out so for now we're just gonna pop these apples down and then we're just gonna have her plant them and then water them so off you go and do your planting Lacey the name actually kind of stuck like I was just going through the names randomly to try and pick one and Lacey came up and I thought you know what it's not actually not too bad a name because there is a Lacey Evans Lacey Evans? yeah Lacey Evans who's a wrestler on Raw she came up yeah she's on Raw she came up from NXT last uh, earlier this year and they finally put her on a brand because she was just going between either one of them although I feel like the brand split is not gonna be a thing soon because wrestlers are just turning up on whatever show they want to now. They're gonna water the plants after she's finished planting them. So she's gotta weed or water plants ten times. And I think I might put the plantains down in a second as well because I've got five of those. And grapes don't grow on trees, they kind of grow in like bushes. Uh, sorry Paolo, not today. And a bird just flew through. Hello, bird. Oh, she is so tired. She's gonna need to have, like, need to find someone to sleep on fast. And find someone to do. Well, as soon as she gets, like, a certain amount of uh, gardening skill, then she'll start having fun with her gardening. I'm gonna pop these down, then I'm just gonna check them in build mode. quickly are they? Yeah they're all too far up. They're not far up enough apart. So I want to be here. There we go. And we'll just have a plant. The plantains. Well they say they're called plantains. Pretty sure these things are just bananas. Not sure why they've given them the name plantain. Starchy banana like fruit. It's a banana best cooked before eating. C so they're cooking bananas. Interesting thing. Oh, she can go fishing down here if she wants to. She's got like, she's got access to her own private beach, like on this side, but you can't fish on it. But she's definitely got like, like access to this beach as well. She just has to go out and around but she can go fishing if she wants to welcome to the neighborhood people are welcoming her to the neighborhood finish planting those plantains and then a water and then we'll go and say hello to who are the neighbors currently we got it hey and the other one i put in 
bit worried that he and Templeton here, Travis, they both begin with T as well, a bit worried they were both literally the same sim, just with different names and slightly different designs, and Justin Delgado to Chief. She passed out, of course she did. Oh, I feel so sorry for her, but he's got a fruitcake. She's going to have to live on fruitcake for the next few days. Oh, bless the Lord for the fruitcake. So, friendly introduction. Friendly introduction to this guy. Uh, if, he's the, if he's a neighbor then, he must live um, in the Bedlington Boathouse here. And also say hi to Travis again. And just be like, hey, how you doing? I'm great. Last thing I want is for her to... She's going to pass out again in two hours. But need to get a social up very quickly. So finish uh, watering these bananas. The bananas for now. Say hello to uh, Justin and take that fruitcake from him. Thank him for the fruit cake as well because that's gonna be what you're gonna have to like. That is gonna be something you'll be living off for the next several days, and she's gonna need that fruit cake. Oh, uh, but be careful. Though, so just chat with them, and you'll feel a bit better. Say hi to them. Just be like, "Hey guys, it's so good to see you again." After I ran into you at the Park. Is that a llama he's got? Yes, that is a llama he's got on. I did not alter their outfits Ooh. at all when I set, when I put them in my world. I thought about maybe altering them, giving them out for CC, but they just look fine the way they were. Max's like stuff can work pretty well. They just she literally got over to them and said hello. So, so just say hello to them before you pass out because. For love of God, you're going to need it. And thank him for Justin is original manager at Dewey Cheatsman Howe. He is also neat. Take the fruitcake from him. Try and take the fruitcake from him. And at least say hi again to... Just say hi to them. And is he going off for a... Yes, he is apparently going off for a run. Lacey is an actor. She is an actor sim, yeah. He is also, I think. Are you active? He is. Tyler is active. And he has just decided to start singing and Justin left. He didn't even leave the fruitcake. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's bad. And... Yeah, sometimes it really shocks me just how large this lot is. She's just like, hey. Dopfi Topa Kalarga. Yeah, it's Barbara super cold. Web for Rhoda. Oh, yeah, I do have a couple other things. I have the passionate romance of Road to Fame mods <laughs> yeah, installed. I know what he does. What do you do? <laughs> you know what, on that note. Now that she's just passed out, I think we're just gonna leave it here with her passed out on the floor whilst he is singing. So, you know, off to a great start on the Rags to Riches. But thank you guys so much for watching me play Rags to Riches. Leave a little like if you liked it. And let me know what else you wanted to do in the rest of the episodes as we go along. What else do you want to see Lacey M Melendez do? Uh, what else do you think she should do? Do you think she should. Maybe make some more friends, uh, maybe do some other things. What is he doing? Is he chatting? He is chatting with our plants. He is chatting with our banana tree, apparently. And we're just going to leave it on there. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next e episode of Sims 4 Rags to Riches. Bye bye now. Take down your walls and let me open.